Hey guys, it's Jess, and I want to show you my Fobonichi that I've been using. Um, I'm going to go and turn it down to flip below, but I just wanted to share with you guys a couple of pages. It's really thick. It is a composition book that I picked up from Staples. It's a Cynthia Rowland. I'll show you the back. And I'm going to show you... I've never shared because I was never able to figure out how to blur out the name. So the other day, actually like two weeks ago, I just went in and covered up with sticky notes because I was like, I can't figure it out. Let me just do the sticky notes. So I cut a whole bunch of sticky notes and it's going to be a little bit annoying to look at, but you'll get the general idea. And instead of showing every day because I did 46 pages, 46 days in here. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite phobe, some of my favorite days, and um, and just do a few of those, and then I'm going to be starting my new Fobonichi book because it's at, it's done because I bought a new um, the Miguel Ruiz book um, a couple of weeks ago, and I wanted to finish this one out just so I could have a complete book. And feel kind of like accomplished and done with it and have this like somewhere pretty because the cover is really pretty. So I'm going to turn it now and show you guys um, the book. And I hope you guys enjoy looking through up through of my Fobonichi. Just flip through of my Fobonichi. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments below. Bye. Okay, guys. So here is the cover of my Fobonichi. Um... Uh, like I said before, I blocked out a lot of the names and certain, you know, information just because it's my it's my private journal. But I did want to show you a couple of pages, so I earmarked some of those pages so we can get through very quickly. You guys saw me put this here. What I used this for was when I had um, prompts. I would stick it in here. I would put a little bit of um, sticky tape on the back and stick it in here so I'd always have it. Um, this is November, so this one is just a test to show you. I don't know if I'm ever going to decorate these two pages here um, or just leave them blank. I think I might do something like the dates that it runs, um, but you'll see what I did in the back for the index. I did an index. This is my first Fobonichi page. You guys saw me actually do this page with the painting, and I have a video, and I'll link it below if you missed that one, to show you the whole setup of this book. Um, so let me just keep going with the pages that I wanted to show you. The next one was this one. This was the third day, and I just really liked what I did. Now, all the pages have um, washi tape on the edges, except for day two. Day two didn't because I um, wrote so much on right to the margin that I couldn't tape it. But that's okay. Everything else has it. I'll figure out some way to get some kind of washi tape there so it, it stays uniform. But it's my book. So um, I did like a bubble. I've done this like bubbly separation a lot. Um, not a lot, I should say. And this was the page that I did with the blackboard paint. This is day six right here. Um, I just started experimenting with just like running the journaling together. All of my pages have the date, um, the word of the day, the feeling of the day. Some of them have what I'm thankful for. And all of them have which day it is. Like this is day six, but this is the 21st of September. And then if I felt like it, I put the weather up there just to have something to like show. But, you know, you could see obviously the weather was pretty nice because I took my son out. We weren't shopping that day. Um, next one is this Minecraft um, Creeper page. I really like how that turned out. Um, I loved how this turned out. This is like one of my first um, splashes with um, water coloring just as the background. I did some stamping over here. So this one was a good, um, <clears throat> a good page. I really liked doing that. And I used brown instead of black for the feathers that I stamped. And these feathers are from close to my heart. I did some more drawing. This is when we um, watched the Mad, 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 Mad World. I love that movie. It's from 1963. It is hilarious. If you've ever had the chance to go watch it, please do. It is so funny. It's a family film. Everyone can watch it. 
it's long, but it's really, really good. Um, this one I was more experimenting with um, watercolor paper. So I drew this first with a pen, and then I went in with the watercolor, and I loved how it turned out. I was like, oh, watercolor is like my new thing. So this is like a little flap here. <clears throat> Um, this is the day that kind of, this is the day that I told my manager that I was going to be leaving Max, so it was definitely blue, and I used my big Studio Calico stamp that says No More Dreams in the background, but it's very, that's very sad when it's not really, you know, the meaning of it, but that was day 12. And the next day I wanted to show you guys was just this day here where it was kind of like um, a bullet points and then little icons that I just drew and colored in with color pencil. That's like moon. This is the day, um, this was my last Saturday at Max. This is day 18. Um, this is day 20. I did a little, I, I got this stamp. I don't remember where I got this stamp. Oh, Hobby Lobby, I wrote on the back. So I got the stamp at Hobby Lobby. I stamped it on watercolor paper, cut it, um, watercolored it, and then cut it out. And this is, like, representative of my husband's truck. My husband doesn't have an old, old truck like this, but it's, you know, a truck. So I like that. I did the campfire. And I, in October, I started doing the DND challenge. So I did a lot of um, doodling with prompts, which was very helpful. Um, this is like representing a track because I was I walk a lot in the mornings with my son. Um, so yeah, I I was in October. I did three doodling challenges, and none of them were like every day I must do it. I just like if I needed to s fill space on the page, I would go ahead and do the challenge. If I liked what the prompt was, I did it. If I didn't, I did not do it. So I was never stressing myself. Um, and the word of the day for that day was walk. This one I really loved because it was um, Doodle of the Day. I think it was Cool and Crisp. Yeah, Cool and Crisp. So, okay. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, so, um, everything I, I drew, everything here, and I colored it in with pencil, color pencil. Except for this feather, I stamped this feather. Then I just colored it in with watercolor. That was day 21. That one I just used some scrapbook paper that I haven't used forever. I was like, let me just use that. And then I used my uni ball pencil. Uh, what should I call it? I like that shelf. I think the doodle of the day in October for the 20... No, I'm sorry. For the October 9th was a shelf. So I drew a shelf. And it has, like, wood grain. I want to show you guys that a little closer. It has, like, wood grain. And I did... I like that. I loved how that came out. Um... And this one was like a rag doll. And this one was Hello October. Okay. And some of the ones that I did and I didn't have the room really for, I just I just glued on right there. No big deal. This one was good. This is when my friend had her this is when my friend had her baby. And it was actually my son's birthday. And the art challenge was alien, I believe. So I drew that totally from my mind, just doodled it. That was cool. Um, plaid. <laughs> I literally had no feeling to do plaid, so I just took a bit of plaid washi tape and did it. Um, my 4.5 miles that I did walking on, um, and then the snacks and stuff that we had. I like the, I like the gummy bears. <laughs> Okay, and smiley face, because I think it was like a smile or something for one of those days, too. I just drew that. That's... Then this one was a good one, too, because it was Hayride. I love how that turned out. I just did that for my mind. Um, and then it was like school, I think, and ghosts. And I said, very, very Pac-Man-ish. I'm boring. <laughs> I was like, let me just, you know, I had like... Sus giving out all of my creative energy and juices on this. But I got to use some stickers from from this Happy Days 
pack that I've never used and I've had for like three years. So I was excited about that. So I used as much as I could that would that made sense, like everyday life. This I kind of just did a little bit of glue, cut out some pictures from the anthropology, um, an anthropology book, and uh, cal uh, what is that called? It's catalog and just glued it on. Um, this was like a zombie and it actually fell on a day where Walking Dead came on, but I didn't watch it because I don't watch it when Sam's not home because I get scared. <laughs> this is a good day. I just used up all the letters that I had left on that one sheet. I mean, I had been holding on to that sheet for like three years and I was like, done. I just threw it all. I just, I put the letters down first and then I wrote around them. This is when I got a whole bunch of new washi tape. This is day 35, October 20th. I got a whole bunch of new washi tape. And that was, and then I just mounted some pictures in between those washi tapes. Um, we went for a walk, and I made an awesome, like, taco salad, like, with ground turkey. It was really good. Actually, we had it again yesterday, too, because it was, like, so good, and all the kids loved it, which is unheard of that all my kids like the same thing. Okay, and then, this is going to, I started Periscope around, I don't know, around something around, like, the beginning of October, and I watch Ian, um, Ian Alexander, I'll link his link below for Twitter and Periscope, uh, for Twitter, and you can get him through Periscope, and he lives in France, and he was walking around in Paris, and he showed, um, the Statue of Liberty, the mini Statue of Liberties. He was walking around with Claire. And he showed the mini Statue of Liberties. So I drew this. I, I did this. And I painted this. Um, with watercolor. That was so much fun to do. Loved how that came out. And then he also had a picture of. Um, not a picture. But when he was walking around. He saw like. He was in this park. And there was boats. And water and ducks. So I just drew this too freehand. So that was amazing. Periscope is like totally changed my life. I love that app. It's great. It's getting everyone connected. So it's good. Then let me see. This is another one I did that I loved. That was day 38. So I finished the book. I'm just kind of looking through. I finished the book. Look at his face. I can't. I need to see that one. <laughs> I finished the book on Halloween. And I'm going to be starting my new Fobonichi book. Um, which I'm going to be doing a new video to show you guys. Thank you so much.